So in the last video that I made about how to learn Unreal Engine in the year 2025, I told you that Unreal Engine is not a standalone 3D software and it has to be used in combination with other 3D software such as Maya or Blender. And so within this video, I am going to give you insight on things that you can do in Unreal Engine and things that you need to do outside of Unreal Engine. Having the concept of this being cleared in your mind will actually help you to not overestimate or underestimate Unreal Engine or the software that you are using along with it. So let's begin. So when we talk about hard surface modeling or modeling any asset in general, that is where Unreal Engine lacks. Now Unreal Engine does have its own modeling tools, but I would suggest to you that you don't use them because they are extremely tedious. In fact, using software such as Maya and Blender is going to make the process of modeling far easier. These softwares have had years and years of time to develop their modeling tools and they dominate in that aspect. So for 3D modeling or modeling any assets and even texturing them is something that you need to do outside of Unreal Engine. And even in case of modeling 3D assets, Blender is going to be more than enough. The reason why I stress on Blender a lot more than other 3D softwares is because Blender is a software where you don't have to really leave it in order to complete a project. Say if you're modeling a car and you're modeling weapons or you're modeling a character or its clothes. All of these things can be done within Blender with its complicated SCUD tools and modeling tools. And so for that reason, I would suggest that in case of modeling, you should not use Unreal Engine and rather use other 3D softwares. It doesn't have to be Blender. You can use Maya, Substance Painter or ZBrush, but don't do it within Unreal Engine preferably. Now animation is an interesting one because while Unreal Engine has its own unique animation tools, other 3D softwares such as Blender, Maya or Houdini specialize in certain animation aspects as well and they have a lot more flexible tools for doing very unique animations. But Unreal Engine has its own really powerful animation tools. So for example, when we talk about metahumans, Unreal Engine comes with a face animation tools for metahuman. And that is amazing because anybody who has tried animating facial expressions knows how hard it is. And Unreal Engine makes this process very easy. And so for that purpose, you might be using Unreal Engine. But then there are certain very specific animations that might be very stylized. For example, there was an animation of a arrow being sliced through the middle by a katana. This type of animation would be extremely hard to do within Unreal Engine. And for that, you would be using external softwares. And so the conclusion is, in case of animations, you would be using both Unreal Engine and uh, the other 3D softwares such as Maya and Blender. It really depends on what animation you are making. If the animation has to do something with the body movements and the character movements, Unreal Engine can actually execute that better. But if the animation is very specifically stylized or something has to be destroyed in a very specific way, then other 3D softwares actually dominate that aspect. When we talk about post-processing and compositing, Unreal Engine actually has very powerful post-processing and compositing tools. And I was actually quite surprised how powerful they are. And the advantage of using those tools over the compositing or post-processing tools of some other video editing software is that you are actually compositing and post-processing the effects within the 3D space, which gives you a lot more depth and a lot more control in terms of what you want as the final result. But with that said, I still think that you should use other three other softwares that are specialized in this. You can actually use uh, Premiere Pro for your post processing, but Unreal Engine really has some powerful tools for post processing and compositing. And there is actually a very specific uh, tutorial from the Star Wars tutorial of the Bad Decision Studio, where they only talk about post processing and compositing. And I would suggest you check that out video as well because it's extremely useful and will give you almost everything that you need to know about Unreal Engine's post-processing tools. So in case of post-processing, the conclusion is you can use Un Unreal Engine. In fact, you should preferably use Unreal Engine. And then afterwards, you should use other 3D softwares or maybe video editing softwares to finalize the result. But the initial editing should be done within Unreal Engine because Unreal Engine is really powerful in that department. I've said this before and I will say this again. 
you are not using Unreal Engine with other 3D softwares because Unreal Engine necessarily has better quality, but you are using it for its speed, its ease of use. Unreal Engine has some really cool tools like MetaHuman Animator or MetaHuman Creator and you being able to blend the animations that you might have downloaded from Miximo. And all of these things are really hard to do in other 3D softwares. So remember, Unreal Engine, when you use it with other 3D softwares, is going to give you the best results in your artwork. Your final artwork is going to literally stand out because you have used Unreal Engine. And I say that with confidence because most people who would be watching this video are going to be individual artists. Even if you work at a studio, this will still work. But specifically for individual artists, it is very important for us to be able to make really good renders in the least amount of time possible. We, are, we don't have a studio, we don't have the best hardware, and so we have to optimize what we have. We have to optimize the tools that we have. And for that reason, you are using Unreal Engine. And with that, I would like to end the video. The next video is going to be about Blender cycles in detail. So stay tuned for that.